basically, uh, so I had to quarantine because we shot this during the pandemic. So I was just trapped in my hotel room in London for two weeks. Um, and I worked a lot on emotional triggers in my own life. And because I wasn't sure when we filmed whether the emotion was going to come because I hadn't used those acting muscles for about 20 years because I've been just doing fun comedies where I kind of just play myself a lot. Um, and so this was really a challenging role and I really had to sit with myself and emotionally like work, work through a lot of stuff to bring it, bring it to my character. It was, it was quite intense. And, you know, sent weird people, like people with weird texts and stuff when I was being really emotional for the few weeks where we shot the film. <laughs> Which is embarrassing now, but... But it, it somehow it all helped to, to try to bring the character and try to bring, bring the real, real truth to it. Well, I think, first of all, Kate O'Reilly wrote a beautiful play, which I originally was in and played that role a long time ago. And she wrote the role for me. Uh, but she was so gracious and so amazing when it came to adapting it. She said, let's leave the play be the play and let's make the the film be the film so she wasn't so precious uh, uh, about it and so we were able to sort of really be as creative and build these sort of characters and different strands that weren't there and then I guess sort of at finding a cinematic language while still being loyal to those characters and still being loyal to the the, the words and her lyricism um, at the same time moving to a different form and medium uh, not being too scared of the, so many words but at the same time not being too scared of taking away the words and trying to tell something with a picture with a bit of music um, so you know it, it was a challenge but it's always a challenge you know made easier by a great cast and how was it casting it and playing especially the well I mean great films you just go to watch great acting and you know it was it's an embarrassment of riches i mean you have you know, trinity and you have charlotte gainsbury rebel wilson vera sayal and so and you know effortlessly brilliant so gracious so courageous an absolute pleasure and um playing opposite them you know you it's like sports it's like musicians you know if you you, you play against uh, brilliant people they make you better so um uh, I, I'm, I'm really proud, I'm really excited for this crowd tonight to see this film. I'm really excited for this crowd to see them in this together. Uh, four leading ladies on screen, being brave and being moving and being funny and being so full of humanity and life with a message that is about survival and love and carrying on. Gratitude and patience. Patience and gratitude and all those things that sort of you know that moral universe is all within within all of us so uh yeah let's see let's hope everybody enjoyed it i mean i did a lot of research and and then we had a lot of talks uh, we had i had talks with the director and also we had some pre pre preparation on zoom that was very special because we had a reading on zoom you know with rebel and charlotte and kellen and that was the first time i saw them and met them like hello and we were all very nervous but then because of rebel and charlotte they were so generous to kind of just invite me in i mean they are playing the lead so they kind of just embraced me into their triangle and with kellen and so it, it just became a very even though i was a little nervous it became a very good experience